morning, Soul Family. <sighs> what a beautiful day. It's cool, the bugs, and it's overcast. So it's kind of. So, what do we think about this weather? This guy's saying, let me apologize. Makeup, makeup, makeup for all those times. So, this is a deep thought day, right? Check it out. The lake is calm, but it's cold. And it's cloudy, so things aren't clear right now. It's a little clouded over. It's a little crisp and cool, so this guy is apologizing and things are icy between him and someone else, right? So he's got to think about what to do. I'm feeling fantastic. I gotta tell you guys something. You're gonna laugh. Some of you might be like, oh, that's gross, but I don't care. Okay. I have, um, you know, Spirit says, we get rid of what is no longer in our highest good, what we don't use, right? What's not good for us? And we don't hesitate when we do it. Come on, don't be procrastinating. If, it, if you don't like it, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't make you feel good, if you haven't worn it in two years, you're not gonna wear it, no matter how cute it is. Oh, but I'm trying to get into this dress. <laughs> you know what? You haven't gotten into that dress in two years, you're not gonna wear it. Okay, so I, I'm really, really good about this now. So if I have something that I don't wear, or that, that now that has like a tear in it, or, you know, I don't need to have total crap. I have thrift store shop. I like thrift store shopping. It's fun for me. It's like treasure hunting, right? So, because I've had these all these bills, and, you know, Lily put me in such um, such a debt because of her, her vet bills, and I haven't been able to recover from it, and I work for free so often, I'm kind of like, got to be frugal with my money. But I'm not, um, I don't hold on to it like a sieve. I mean, like a sieve. I don't hold on to it like a vice grip. You know, because if you do that, it doesn't flow either. So I had this, this bag of clothes <clears throat> that I got, and they didn't work for me. And I thought, no, I'm just going to take them to the secondhand store. This is ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. So um, I uh, go to my thrift store. And, and, and before that, I was saying to myself, God, you know, is it too much to ask to, to have a, a couple of, or even one really nice bra, you know? When you got big boobs, it me it's important to have a bra that fits right. You, if you don't have big boobs, you don't understand. If you're a guy, you don't get it. But if you got the bra that's riding up the back, or that it's, your boobs are spilling out of the front, it's just or it's digging in your shoulder blades, it's it's uncomfortable, right? You got to get a quality bra. Think about what a bra does. It holds your intimate parts, right? So think about this symbolically and spiritually. If there's something that's going to be holding on to something intimate of yours, it better be quality. Right? If you like something, get that close to your body, it better be quality. Now, you're going to say, okay. So I go to the thrift store. I dump off my stuff. I'm looking for a long kind of sweater vest, right? Because um, the one that I decided I was going to throw out had a hole in it. I thought, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to keep, I mean, I got it at a thrift store. I can go to the thrift store, this really cool one. And I get, they have really cool stuff all the time. I'll find a new one. So I'm going around in the thrift store. And what's so weird about this is I dreamed about this the whole entire night before I went and did this. And I didn't realize that until that night when I got home. I thought, oh my God, and I went back to my dreams and everything that happened, I saw. Everything that happened that I said that I did, everything I saw it the night before in my dream. That was really, I'm, I was literally looking at it at the stoplight on the way home and I go, okay, now that is really freaky. That's freaky because it was my dream and I was the one who did it and I watched it the day before. So, um, <laughs> the conversation, everything. So anyway, while I'm there, I mean, I guess I could have figured out what I was going to buy, right? So, uh, I'm, uh, cruising around and nothing's, you know, nothing's right. I'm looking at these long sweater dress sweaters and they're too big and I'm, I'm, you know, a small. And so I'm looking in the small section, there's nothing there. And I'm like, God, there's nothing here. And, uh, there's just so many symbolic messages to this, I can't even tell you. Sweater is what brings you comfort, right? <laughs> and there was a big one. It wasn't my fit. I wanted what was smaller, what fit me better. I didn't want the big one. I wanted the smaller one. Um, anyway, so I go down the, the section, and I thought, well, I'm going to go over to where the house coats are, because sometimes they've got these really pretty little um, shawl, kind of like little cover-up things that, that people use as house coats, but I would use it just like over a dress. I throw stuff together. I told you, I'm very eclectic, right? So I go by, and I go by the bras. Yes? They're used. They are. But there were these two bras that were there, and they were, like, brand new. And I'm like, dang. And I looked at them, and I got to tell you, my daughter said, Mom, you got to go to Victoria's Secret and be fitted. You don't have the right size bra. And she goes, I haven't been wearing the same size bra or the right size bra for years. 
And I said, well, what size was it? And it, it sounds ridiculous. It does. But the thing is, ladies, with your bras, here's the information if you need to know this. Maybe you didn't know. You're supposed to wear your bra on the tightest, I mean, on the loosest hook, and it should be tight so that it wears in. You shouldn't be wearing a bra that you're tightening on the, on the, on the farthest hook. It should fit you just right on the, on the loosest hook, okay? Just like anything intimate. It should fit you just right. It should fit you perfectly. You shouldn't have to make, make it fit. Work to make it fit, okay? There's your message. So I pick up these bras. One of them has diamonds all over it. It was totally cute. And the other one was black. And I always wear black. It was satin. It was smooth. And, and I don't like, you know, push-up stuff. And I don't like padded stuff. I don't need that, right? It was exactly the size that my daughter said. I, she goes, I think this is what you need. And it was the weirdest sounding size to me. It was 34 triple D. And I, and, and, she, and I talked to somebody about it, and they said, you know, because the deal is people are always trying to fit their boobs into a smaller cup size, and they do that by, by when you buy a, a bra that's bigger around the outside of the back, it kind of stretches things. So nothing's fitting right. So if you get it to fit snug on the smallest hook, I mean, on, you know, loosely on, on the last hook, it'll be a, a different size cup. And, and anyway... So I thought, oh my God, this is the size. So I go and try them. Oh my God, you guys, they fit like, I didn't, I, I put them on over my top because no, I wasn't going to let them touch my skin, even though they were just gently used. Um, I know I wouldn't buy used underwear, but a bra is different. You know, it's like wearing an undershirt. So I brought them home and I boiled them <laughs> in boiling water, hand did them myself, squished them out, dried them. Um, I put them, put them in front of my hot um, little, little heater that I have going here. They fit me like a freaking glove. These are $120 bras. They fit me like, and I can't tell you what, feel it, what it feels like to have your girls in something that fits you, that was made to fit you. No gaps, no, no trying to pinch it together, no trying to, it's like a relationship. Don't, and, and you know what? You don't have to be with someone that's never been with somebody else before. Somebody gently used works, right? <laughs> and that's what I got. And that was my lesson. That was my message. And I've got these two brand, brand, almost like brand new. They're perfect for me, right? They're perfect for me. Yes, they were gently used, but I cleaned them. I, they don't have anybody else's energy in them. They're beautiful. They're functional. They're exactly what I asked the universe for. I got one in white and one in black. Just what I asked for. So come on. I think that's amazing. I had to tell you because you know what? We get what we need. And I didn't need to spend the money that I didn't have at the time to get them. All right. And you know what? You may not agree. You may think, oh, that's gross. I would never wear a bra that somebody else wore. Well, you know what? You probably slept with somebody that had sex with somebody else, right? I think this is a little easier to clean than that. And that's another thing. That's why it's so important to sleep with only the people that you are very intimate and caring and, and you connect with on every level. Not someone that you're trying to make fit. Not somebody that you have to loosen up or not somebody that you have to tighten up. It's got to be somebody that you feel comfortable with and works for you first the first time, right? It works. You know, when, it, when it's right, it's right. When I slip those bras on, onto my naked boobs, they fit like a glove. And that's the same message as far as sex. You fit the right one in on your naked body, it fits like a glove. And you know what I mean, it just works. Everything does. Soft, silky, bam. Woo. And you don't have to pay a lot for it, right? You don't have to pay, whereas the other ones that you're trying to make fit, you gotta, you, you gotta pay. Because you're trying, to, you're trying to make something work that's not going to work for you. You know, you don't get along with them. you got different likes. You need, I thought about this, too, yesterday. I thought about my twin and I, you know? And I thought, he won't fit with anybody but me, my true twin, or the one that's meant to be with me, my soulmate. Maybe it's not my twin. Maybe it's a soulmate. But he won't fit with anyone else because who's like us? We're so unique. We're so different. I couldn't just be with a regular guy. There's a lot of guys that ask me out right? But I got to get them on every single level, spiritually, physically, emotionally, sexually, intuitively, intellectually, everything, everything. It's got, it's got to work for me. So you might be a really nice guy. You might be a spiritual guy. You might be a good looking guy. But if you don't get me on every level, you don't work for me. And definitely the first thing is you got to be a spiritual guy. And you don't have to just be, a, you know, willing. You got to be excited about it. My twin and I used to talk about you know, ancient Egyptian cultures and the ancient ones and crystals. And we used to talk about stuff like that. It was interesting to us. Think about it. Don't try and make something fit that doesn't just naturally fit. You know who you're comfortable with. It just works. Now that you know about my intimate life. Now, okay, look, there's a hangers on. Who's the hangers on? 
You got a wonderful idea. Move forward with it. It's been moving around in your head. It's the aha moment. The light just went on. It's hanging on for a reason. But your message is, ooh, the lantern fairy. P.S. We're working with the Oracle of Shadows and Light. Okay. I wanted to show you guys something else as well that I noticed yesterday. Okay. My blue lace agate. I looked at this. Remember, we are the Eiffel Towers, right? We stand there and we get radio transmissions from spirit that hits us at like a lightning bolt here. And then we shine like a beacon out to others. We shine our light. And I just, I just hung that over there. I don't, because intuitively I just felt like I did. And these to me rem remind me of, this is the Kundalini. This is like an Om symbol, the circle of life, right? The crystals stacking up on top of one. I mean, there's so many messages that I get in this. And this is jade, something of value, a fine worth, something uh, prosperous and, and a new beginning. And it's an egg, the egg of creation. There's so many awesome messages on this. I love, you know, it's, I have a really hard time. Oh, and I added my, um, remember I said I thought I needed pink and I thought it was rose quartz and I realized, no, it wasn't. It was the crystal that I wanted that was missing from my mom, the one that was stolen from me. And it was um, pink. Oh, the dead cat just distracted me. Okay, hold on. We got blue appetite. We've got oh, we've got my very special um, lapis lazuli with the crystal sparkles in it that I love, and this appetite sparkles too in the light. If you saw it, I've got Dalmatian jasper, and I've got uh, pink. Um... <laughs> it keeps going away. Hold on, I gotta think of it, and I don't want to say the wrong one. I'll tell you the story about the lantern fairy while I look for in my recesses of my mind what that is. Um, okay, so the Lantern Fairy says you've come up against a wall in your life, right? Brick wall. We've had this one recently. And uh, you see this fairy standing there with the lantern, right? So the deal is this. Yep, you've come to a wall. Crap. How am I going to get past this wall? I don't know how to get past this wall. I could try and climb over it. I could try and dig under it. But it's an impenetrable wall. It's definitely a wall. You've hit a block. But Spirit says they're going to show you a place. This is Spirit. This is the angel says, come follow me. I'm going to show you a place where the wall in the wall where it's already come down. So I told you before that my twin and I both came up against this wall. He wasn't able to move. He was the hangman. He was hanging upside down, terrified. You know, the hangman was somebody who was not emotionally available, which I didn't get at the time. Okay, check this out. Liger's been locked out and Lily is like, what's going on? They still are having difficulty, these two. It's a Mexican standoff between these two. He's intimidated by her. <laughs> She's like, look at that. She's like, yeah, I don't like the way you've been acting. And he's like, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Get over it, Lily. It's hysterical. It's a definite standoff between these two. Okay, so... You have hit this wall, but Spirit says that you can, there's going to be a spot. And I told you, my twin was like, no way. He was hanging upside down, terrified. I can't move forward. And I, and I had this prickly hedge that I couldn't get through. I now realize he was the prickly hedge. <laughs> and I now realize why he was the hanged man. He was not emotionally available at that time. There was no getting past it. I got to tell you, the fear he had was palpable. I felt it and I started crying. I should have understood stood why I started crying. So... Now Spirit's saying, all right, well, now we're going to you, take you to a place in this wall where it's already started to come down. It's pink aventurine. Sorry. Pink aventurine. And uh, pink aventurine, I'll just tell you now that I thought of it, it's about stimulating your creativity. It enhances your personal power and your prosper prosperity, and it promotes good communication. <laughs> and that's what I needed, right? So there's a stone for you if you needed something like that. And a lapis, that was important too. So there's my new chargers. Anyway. So we reach this place, right? He's upside down. No way he's going through. I can't figure out a way through the prickly hedge. So we're stuck. Well, now Spirit says, we're going to show you a way through this wall. We're going to show you a place in that wall where it's already come down. But in order for this to happen, there's, 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 a lot, there's some changes that need to take place. Stubbornness is one thing. Pride. Somebody needs to change their attitude, right? Somebody needs to look at things from a different perspective. Look at this the song in the background. I'll meet you in the middle. I'll meet you in the middle. And that's exactly what this, song, what this message is telling you. Stubborn thinking can be changed. And the one that was hiding themselves, the one that was so bound up who couldn't move forward, was trying to protect themselves, 
has realized that they've kept themselves behind an iron wall and now what they really actually want, they can't keep in. They can't let in. So just like the song says, they gotta meet in the middle. The stubborn thinking needs to be changed. The old patterns need to be removed. But trust has to be developing between these two. I don't think either one of them trust each other at this point because nobody's being honest. There needs to be some honesty and some communication so you can re reach through these barriers. So Spirit says, that's one thing. It could be other issues in your life. It could just be that you've come up against a wall that you can't figure out how to get through. But Spirit will guide the way. And you can trust the light that Spirit is holding up. Sometimes you get the lantern that's held up and you don't know who's holding that lantern up. You know, someone who says that they're a spiritual person, but you find out all of a sudden, wow, they're really negative energy. I gotta remove them from my life. And you do it swiftly. But for years you thought that this person was a friend. Or maybe you didn't even know that person and you just kind of assumed. But now you realize, Okay, well, I've been protecting myself from, from that kind of energy, but by doing that, I have now protected myself also from what I do want to allow into my life. So, you don't have to force your way through this obstacle. You just have to trust in spirit. And you don't have to worry, as I said, because spirit is going to show you that there is a very clear, to, clear, clear solution to this. And the, and the guidance is safe. And they're going to light you up, light up the way so that you can get through it because right now they're saying you're making it harder than you than you need to make it so they're telling you to show show the way through so that's the message and I like the way that the song came up with that I have a headache in my third eye right now hold on I gotta take a drink of my uh, I gotta take a drink of my chia water I had some um wow it's not I don't normally get that I'm waiting for my prescription remember I got my prescription and it was off and they had to do them again and then I went and got them and I was getting those um those, uh, what were they, uh, old school Ray-Bans, and I got there, and we, they were, the prescription wasn't right again, and then we realized that they didn't fit my nose. They were cool looking, but they didn't fit me. I needed to get these other glasses, they're cat's eyes, actually, and they fit me. I'm not old school Ray-Ban, I am cat's eyes. And so now I'm waiting again for my prescription, so these glasses all hurt my eyes. But it also may be saying, and it's true because I remember I took my vitamins and I had my oatmeal, but I didn't um, drink my water. And whenever you're getting a headache, you're dehydrated. Turn that radio down. It's way too loud. Okay. So the next, let's see, shall we go? Wow, I'm dizzy all of a sudden. That's not me. Something's going on. That's not me. I'm picking up somebody else's energy. Wow. Holy moly. Hold on. I need to clear my energy right now because, hold on, I've got to get my sage. Just a second. Wow. Dang, man, I'm dizzy. So somebody's, somebody's, somebody's dizzy, and I'm connecting to that energy. It needs to go. Hold on. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Clear my energy, please, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. Whatever this is. I want it to go. You know, I had that uh, kerfluffle on my page yesterday, and I had to remove somebody, and uh, they came back and wrote just pages on my on my personal page. My my, in, and, and I was wrong. I said uh, that the person had written to me on uh, Instagram. It wasn't Instagram. It was WhatsApp. It doesn't matter. It was another social net network. <clears throat> but anyway, um, they wrote to my page and just blew it up with all kinds of nasty stuff, and. They said, you know, and I, I blocked the energy. Spirit told me to do it, so I did, right? And this was somebody, as I said, that I thought was a, you know, I, I had been on my friends list for nine years, but I actually never really met this person. And clearly we're not of the same, um, I'm not saying the person is evil, but we don't have the same belief system. And it doesn't work for me, you know, when somebody attacks my father. So um, I was told, I made the decision to just cut it off. And I didn't make the decision to cut it off just like that. It was only after it got very cost, after it got very nasty about God. And then when I made the decision to cut them off and block them off, then it got really nasty. And then it's like, okay. So there was no fight until I decided to block them. They didn't like that. That made them angry. So they came to my page and were writing all these things on my page. They've gone to my friend. They've probably gone to more than one person. I don't know. I've blocked them. But I have been written to and been told. So look at it. It's, it's smoking a little bit. Not much. So it's not me. Come on. I want, I want it to go, though. We're just going to let this smoke. Um... So they wrote to everybody, you know, to other people. I don't know everybody. I know for, they did write to others. And uh, 
one of the messages on my personal page or my fan page, my Angels Whispers page, said that I know that you aren't going to post this because that's what you do. You, you put you you don't allow anybody else to speak and you cut them off. And I thought, okay, I'll let it stand. I'll let it be there because I I, I read word for word what was in in the messages that the person sent me and and um, spirit told me I did the right thing. So I have nothing to to, to fight. I don't want to fight. You know, I'll let it stand. And then it went on and on and on. And then I got an email this morning from my friend saying, okay, my, my inbox has been blown up by this person writing and trying to explain themselves and trying to make you look really bad. And, 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 and she said that, and I said, well, I don't know what, I said, I just came across all of the, um, the messages that were in the, 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 the Instagram texts. I said, I've got screenshots of them, just like she said. And I said, when I look at them, I go, everything I said is right there. And she goes, yeah, she sent them to me too. And I said, then what's the point? What I said was, was valid. I said, that what she was making her angry is that I blocked her. She didn't want to be blocked. And, uh, and then I started thinking about another spiritual friend of mine, my friend Jake. He's from, uh, I don't know where he's from, but he's a yoga instructor. And he's, you know, he's been in India for a lot. He's a super cool guy. He's very, very um, spiritually aware. He's a cool guy. And one day he, he wrote something on his wall and this person came and, and basically did that same kind of thing. <clears throat> and immediately he blocked them, deleted them. And I said, why didn't you answer them? And he said, look, I've, he goes, I'm not here to put up with anybody's bullshit. He says, if negative energy comes on my page, I, I block it. He goes, I'm here to send out the light. I'm here to do things to help people. He says, my intuition said this is negative energy. I remove it. I don't need to entertain the person's reasons and continue the energy. Otherwise, why would I block them in the first place? I'm blocking them because I don't want that negative energy on my page. I don't need to defend myself. I made a choice. This is my page. I'm here to promote the light. If you bring negative energy in my page, you're out, period. And I thought, you're right. So I deleted the comment. I thought, I, don't, I didn't, I looked at it. It was like, it just felt bad having it sit there, right? And, and, and the fact is, I know what happened. And I don't have to defend myself against anybody. If anybody else wants to listen to the drama or listen to the, the drivel or whatever and get involved in that in something that they weren't a part of, then then they'll have to deal with the consequences of, of getting involved with somebody who's doing that, right? <clears throat> I made a decision. My decision was block you. I don't really care about the particulars and, and that I accidentally made, I said Instagram instead, or yeah, Instagram instead of WhatsApp. You know, that's not the point. The point was you trashed God. No, you don't have to believe in God, but I do. So the point was, I don't want your energy on my wall. That was my choice. I stand by what I did. I still do. And I'm not leaving that bullshit on my wall. So I apologize to any, uh, if, if you're getting your emails blown up. But, you know, I'm not responding to her because, you know what, like Justin Timberlake said in the song, sometimes the best thing of, way of saying something is to say nothing at all. I don't need to defend myself. So I'm not saying anything and I'm not allowing it on my page. So the end of that, period. Here we go. Ooh, the witch at the end of the world. Okay, <clears throat> here we see an important end and a new beginning. So she's holding on to that hourglass like she looks like she's holding on to it to save her life. Look at the storms and the crackles going around. Okay, so something's ended. Well, something ended for me yesterday. That's the truth. So right now, that's what's going on. There's changes. You can see all around her. She's hugging on to that. Is she trying to stop something from happening? Because there is no delaying. Oh, Sandy, I know what this is about for us. Are you? Do you know that something's supposed to end, but you're like holding on to it? You don't know why. You feel obligated. You just, I don't know. You're holding on, even though you know you've already made the decision. It's got to end, but you're holding on to it. Right now, there's no more delaying because the time has come. <laughs> so they're telling you prepare for the changes. Find out whatever solutions that you need to deal with whatever it is that's ended and whatever is coming. And you know what? There's going to be some chaos. Look what happened with me yesterday. That was chaos, right? But I feel really good today. If you're prepared and you're ready to let go of it, like let go of it, then you're not going to be affected as well as much as those who choose to hang on to what's no longer working, right? So it's up to you because there's a time of ending. Now, remember I told you when you look outside at nature, you'll see what was going on. And I said yesterday the water was whipped up. Emotional energy was whipped up. It was cold. So cold is cold emotion and the, and the water was emotion and it was whipped up and the wind was going crazy, right? That's what was going on. And, and, and I said, you see that outside in nature and you also will see that in your environment. So now today, it's cold, but it's calm. So there is cold emotion. I'm not letting you back in. It's, it's, it's thick, right? The air is thick, but, but, I feel, but I'm warm inside my little house. I'm safe and comfortable inside where I'm at. I'm keeping the cold out, right? 
So right now, this is about rearranging things. Maybe on a personal level, we definitely see things going on a global level. We definitely see issues that are happening with gun control. We see issues, I mean, I'm not gonna get into all of that. I don't wanna get into the political stuff, but we see it, right? And there's, there's changes to the legal system that are happening constantly. My boss is, con I mean my boss, my landlord is constantly coming up to me, wanting to talk to me about the whole Trump escapades. And I'm like, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. I am not a person who's involved in political bullshit. I'm a spiritual person, God will handle that, right? I'm not into that. So right now, they're talking about when things are getting crazy, maybe it's, a, 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 maybe it's time for you to start leaving, living a little bit more of a simple life, more in harmony with nature. I, I, the more things get crazy in that world, the farther out into nature I wanna go, right? We don't have to be afraid because the world's not gonna blow up, the apocalypse isn't gonna come here and suck people up, up into heaven, right? And you're gonna make it through the storm just like I made it through the storm yesterday, right? I wasn't fun, I didn't like it. I don't like fighting with people. And I didn't fight, but it got ugly. I didn't like it, but it ended, right? I chose myself, to, it, it was over. So you too, whatever this is for you, you're gonna get through it. You know, I, I wish that person all the best in their life. I'm sorry they were disappointed and didn't get what they wanted, but clearly the, the lessons, you know, God had a plan. <laughs> and since they don't recognize that there's a God, they're not God, they're not gonna see the plan. <clears throat> so right now it's about shifting <clears throat> to a more peaceful energy. I don't want to deal with this bullshit. I like this. I like this. I like the crystals. I like the snuggy wug warm. I like, I like a bra that fits just right, right? I don't want to try and make something fit that doesn't fit. And that means friendships. Look how beautiful the crystals fit together. Look at the different colors and how they all look good together. They don't look like a dog's breakfast. Unless they look like a dog as in unconditional love, loyalty, and friendships breakfast. And then... It's a beautiful breakfast. All the colors of nature look beautiful together. And that means that everything that naturally fits together, all different kind, backgrounds, all different you know, sexes, all different sexual preferences, all, they all fit together if they're, of, if they're naturally meant to going in the same direction. This is natural. I'm not gonna fit plastic with this, right? I'm not gonna put plastic with this. These are all crystals or elements of the earth, right? This is metal. Um, now, you, you see that meme a lot of times. People see that meme where it says we're a Jew, a Catholic, an atheist, agnostic. They all went together and, and went out to dinner together. And they said, that's what you can do when you're not an asshole. And I used to say that and think, laugh at that. And then I thought, no, you know what? That's not the truth. Because, and, I, and, see, and, and then you'll see what's the difference between you and your son that's a Jehovah's Witness. He doesn't associate with you. No, he doesn't. Because he thinks that what I do is demonic. I don't associate with I don't hang out with people that are going to attack my belief system. Now he attacks my belief system. I don't. I, I don't agree with his. So it makes sense we don't hang out. It's sad. You can be friends with. You, you can be. You know, on a surface level. But really, when you really get right down to it, I understand. And that's why I don't push myself with my son. We have a difference of opinion when it comes to that. Now that doesn't mean you can't be nice to somebody and you can't be pleasant and I can't, you know, get together for a family dinner. I'm not going to be talking about my spiritual beliefs with you, but it is. It's just a lot easier to not be around somebody who is so conflicted with what you believe in. It makes sense. Unfortunately, it just does. So as we ascend and our beliefs change and we get more defined in what is really who we are and what we believe in, we do separate from people. In families, we separate and friendships. You try and hold on to friendships, but, but on Facebook, why hold on to somebody that isn't even really a friend? I've never even met you. You know, we're just going separate ways. I'm sorry it hurts your feelings. Remember uh, yesterday we talked about the, uh, maybe it was in a private reading that I did yesterday. It was showing the horses and, and the ones that was moving away from the crowd. And they were saying, wait, wait for me. I was in our reading yesterday. Wait, you know, where are your friends? Where are you going? Remember, that was in the reading yesterday. No, I'm sorry. You're not really my friend because... You don't agree with anything that I believe in, that, that, that I fundamentally stand for. So really, you're not my friend. And, you know, I, it's a separation between church and state, I guess is what you say, right? Sadly, that's just what it is. So you just allow everybody to live in harmony. You do your thing and I'll do mine. I won't force my beliefs on you. You don't force your beliefs on me. We're, we'll get along fine. But no, we're not going to be hanging out. You know, I'm not going to be close with you. I mean, it just doesn't make sense because I wouldn't be comfortable. I'm not going to try and put my precious naked self in, and try and force it into something that doesn't fit it. I'm not going to try and stretch it. I'm not going to try and cram it in. I want something that fits comfortably. And, and so do you. And so we're not a comfortable fit, right? 
I want you to be comfortable and I want me to be comfortable. And the best way to do that is to pull together with soul family, our natural elements, right? All right. One more message. And uh, let's see. Is it from this deck? Yes. Wow. I thought they'd have, have me go to a different deck. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You know, I was um, going out to lunch with my best friend Julie tomorrow, and I um, got her something for Christmas, and it didn't work out, so I was supposed to get her something else. And I just couldn't think of what to get her. I just, I just, I couldn't, I just didn't want to get her something stupid, and I couldn't think of what to get her. And so I heard in my head, creative. And so I thought, I'm going to make her a crystal cluster, a beautiful. And then I thought to myself, you know what? There's an example. Now, there's my friend. She loves me. She is a spiritually aware, but she doesn't have this, you know, she doesn't do what I do. But we have enough respect for one another that we, ha we can see one another. And we go to lunch, and I love her. She's my friend. But when somebody disrespects what you believe, that's when you don't hang out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we're going out, right? And I was going to make her a crystal cluster. And then I, as, as I was trying to put it together, it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it didn't go together simply. It like this, it just, that fell together. I like that. It just, it just worked, right? Because this was for me, because I know what this means and it matters to me. And when I looked at it <clears throat> from every direction, I like this, right? But when I looked at what I was trying to make for her, I realized, you know what? She's so polite. She's such a sweetheart. I thought I'll make her a power cluster for her work for her desk, or maybe she can take it at home. And I realized, you know what? It's really not her thing. And she may look at it and think, oh, thank you, Sherry, that's pretty. But it doesn't mean as much to her as it would to a spiritual person who is really into the crystals and really understanding the meaning and why we use them. So I thought, I'm not gonna give that to her and, and you know, she'll stick it on a counter and she won't use it. I want somebody to use it. I want somebody who understands the meaning of it and it means something to them um, in, in a special way. So I did something else creative for her that I knew would be something that she would use because it's something that is creative. It is something that is personal. It is something that she can use, but it's more on a um, general level rather than specifically like my work and what I do. But this is the ex perfect example. So when I tell you, you're not going to hang out with them. Julie and I, we go to lunch. We love each other. <clears throat> we don't hang out all the time, but we do go to lunch. I do love her. She's my friend. She is awake. She is aware. She is not disrespectful of my belief system. Now, she goes out and, and she does other things that I don't do, right? Nothing bad, but just the life that I don't have anymore, and that's what we don't do anymore. We used to, but we don't because I, I don't go out to clubs, and I don't go, you know, I just don't. You know, she probably doesn't much anymore either. I don't know what she does really. But I'm just showing you the difference between somebody. This is my best friend. She is my best friend. I love her. But we see each other, you know, now and again. And you, you get what I'm saying. Because I'm looking at my two best friends. My best friend, Julie, and my best friend um, in Sturgeon Bay, Diane. She's very spiritually aware as well. She gets me. She understands. She sends me things. She's connected that way. They both have aspects that I love. One is more spiritually into what I am than the other one. Um, and actually neither one of them are as much as I am, but they love me and they respect what my beliefs as much and as much as I respect theirs to the point where it's comfortable. That's the kind of friendship that you can have. Now my son and I, he disrespects what I believe and I don't, and, and what he stands for, I don't, I, don't, I don't respect either. However, I do respect him. So there's a difference between whether you respect the way someone treats you and your belief system. If I said to him, you know, we can agree to disagree, you know, we can just keep it family and, and, and not talk about this, but he can't do that. So that's his choice. But when somebody literally disrespects your belief and, is, is, and brings negative energy to it, that, that person is eliminated. So that's the difference, okay? My Julie, I love her, and I love my Diane. And we don't have to have every single thing in common as long as we respect one another. And we learn off of each other, you know? We bring light to the table. I, I get stuff from her. She gets stuff from me. I probably said that in a way that wasn't as um, as, as uh, positive for my friends because they have much more than just somebody that we have something in common. I don't see her that much because we're both very busy and I, she's married and I'm not. Um, she's also married to my ex-husband. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story. So, because um, she's a pretty freaking cool person. 
I mean, she wouldn't be my best friend if she wasn't, right? But it's all about respect and loving each other. But I wasn't going to bring her um, something that was really specifically what I do when, you know, it's really not specifically something that she, she works with. That's what I was trying to say. I got to clarify things. You know, I got to make sure there's no misunderstandings. Oh, wow. Did you see that? It not only flipped, but it flipped right upside and said, do not miss me. Okay. Oh, and it looks beautiful with the crystals that we have. Oh, wow. Okay, and this is definitely what's going on about what I was just talking about. Sea storm. So there's a clash. There's a clash of, of ideas and belief systems. <laughs> Clearly, right? You believe that, I believe this. We, we are not, we're, we're not going to agree. However, at this point, it wasn't about agreeing to disagree. It was about attacking energy. It was gnarly, right? But this one, she's paying attention to her intuition. She's out in the middle of this. And there's no land there. There's no land in front of her, but she's pretty calm. So right now, she's kind of, look at her. She's like, it's that energy. It's that energy. It's kind of like, you know, like kind of like zoned. She's zoned in on something. And she's moving away from the destruction. The destruction's behind her. Where is she going? I don't know where she's going yet, but she's moving forward. She's listening to her higher self as she goes. And she's a mermaid. She can go underneath her emotional waters. She's, she's cool. You know, there's a lot of emotional drama right now around her. And things are changing. Friendships are changing. Ideas are changing. Major drama. So what do you do when there's drama? You go away from it. That's what I do. Don't look back. Right? Move through it. If you listen to your inner voice and you follow your, your, your inner radar, you'll know where to go. And you're going to get your way through the drama. You're going to get away from it. I got yesterday, you know, I got this confirmation. Or maybe it was this morning that spirit's at your back. You're okay. Spirit's, you know, you stand your ground. You move away. You keep it calm. Look at the color. Calm like the ocean. But the ocean's whipped up. But she's not. She's calm. She's like, okay, I'm out of here. Right? I'm moving forward. That old way of doing things and that old friendship, that old connection, it's done. It's over. It's, it's time to move forward. So it's like trust in the situation. So for you, whatever it is, you're leaving behind. There's destruction behind you. You're not quite certain where you're going to end up, but you know you're not going back to that. You're trusting in your inner compass to, to, to guide you. You're trusting in spirit. You are able to adapt to the situation at hand. You're able to, to, to you know, maybe if, if spirit gives you course correction, you're able to go, okay, I was going in this direction, but I'm getting course correction to go this way. So like I did when I was just talking, I said something and I thought, wait, wait, I got to define that because that's actually not clear. I got to be very clear with my communication. So you got to be flexible. Because of the, the fact that this is a mermaid and um, there's so much um, stormy, chaotic and world changing stuff that's going on, this may be where Atlantis comes up and Lemuria. And it's interesting. These are my Lemurian crystals, right? And I am the mermaid. So... It's showing me I'm gonna, I need to connect with my Lemurian crystals right now. It's important. And my Lemurian crystal is my twin. That's why he said that right then. I need to connect with my Lemurian crystal, yes. Yes, baby? That was a really loud message. I get it. So I gotta connect with my Lemurian crystal. There's chaos. So I will, I'll be talking to my twin today. All right. Um, I think that's it for you guys. That's it. I gotta go. I gotta take a huge drink of water because my head is hurting. I hope you guys are having a good day. And you know what? When you know something's done and you've made a choice, don't don't second guess yourself. Don't double back. If you've if you've removed something from your life or you've taken yourself out of something or you're in an environment that's just not good for you and you you decide you're gonna go, go. It's not. Yeah, go. It's it's not in your highest good. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to explain yourself. If it doesn't make you feel good where you're at, who you're with, or what you're doing, stop, do something about it. Change it. Remove yourself. Quit the job. Move the house where you're at. Change your club. Look how beautiful he is. You are so beautiful, Liger. You are the most beautiful. God. Look at those luminous eyes. The color of Amazonite. Right? That's the stone for the day. Amazonite. I get it, my baby. I get it. It's time to go on safari. Here's our Amazonite right here. Here's our Amazonite here. Here's our Amazonite here. We're surrounded by Amazonite right now. Okay. I think I need to bring that up. Let's do it real quick. And there's a reason for this. So the song, I can't escape this now unless you show me how. Amazonite. 
This is where my demons hide. Amazonite. Somebody needs to get away from something. Okay, so this is... <laughs> Amazonite is used for filtering out stress and healing trauma. It heals... It has like a soothing energy uh, for your home as well as your workplace. Oh, the Amazonite. You know, my, my friend... Uh, it's also, remember, it is what they put on the breastplate of the warriors going into battle. This morning, my friend Sandy said, what, what stone do I need for courage? And I said, Amazonite, Amazonite, it's the stone of the day, right? It's bold. It, the legendary warriors, that you know, it helps temper aggression and it tames the irrational mind and it just, you know, it stills the disquiet in your mind. It, it brings harmony and balance, right? So what's going on here? Look at how we're surrounded by the Amazonite and the color of Amazonite. Even she's wearing Amazonite, she's wearing an Amazonite bra. She's, she is an Amazonite mermaid. Look, at she's got it all down her legs. So this is a soothing, soothing stone. It soothes the chakras, aligns your body, brings rejuvenation to your heart and throat, and enhances loving communication on every level. Balances the, the yin and yang, you know, the male and feminine aspect of your personality. Allows you to see both sides of a problem and shows you a way to, to work your way through it. Um, it's called the Jade or Amazon Stone. That's why I, at the end of my dream when my twin and I were coming together, I said, it's time to go on safari. I know it was about the Amazon and it's this. Um, so Amazon, it, it aids in overcoming loneliness. It helps relationships. It helps a married life be happier. It um, helps you feel, you know, if you're over emotional, it helps re you regulate that. Helps you communicate your, really, your real true thoughts and feelings so that you can see, uh, you know, problems from each other's perspective so that you promote peace on both sides. You're able to, you know, be objective so you can come to a resolution of, of, your, of outer conflicts as well as inner conflicts. And sleeping with it will help you bring those same kind of components into your dream time. It absorbs, remember, it absorbs negative energy from the electromagnetic field. So for, you know, if you're, like I work around a computer, I keep these with me at my desk all the time. Um, so you could tape it to your cell phone, a little tiny piece of Amazonite, tape it to the back of your cell phone, and it will, it will um, absorb the um, electromagnetic pollution that comes from that. So it dispels negativity and, and negative energy and aggression protects against um, unfair business practices or others that are taking advantage of you. It's good to help attract new customers and, and in order to bring business in, help, you know, helps you be at the right place at the right time. This is the one, this is the stone that you put in your teenager's room or in the kitchen. So, you know, then when you want somebody to help you and they're, they're how, their kitchen's messy and you want people to help you, put Amazonite there and people will be encouraged to help. And your teenager will, will, will be encouraged to clean up their room. You know, it's, it helps you for, <laughs> as far as chores are going. Um, as far as the physical, um, it's good for a, a healing after a, an illness, for trauma or injury, because it helps in regeneration of your cells and relieves the spasms. You know, you get the spasms in your legs, so that'd be good to have, um, helps deal with your teeth and nervous disorders, any of those blockages through your, and because it works with your voice and your throat, that would work through your thyroid and your throat glands, anything to do with that. Um, helps you, helps you process calcium in your body properly, that's why it helps um, with your teeth because it, it, it rectifies calcium deficiency and helps with tooth decay. You know, for the what is it the women have? Osteoporosis? I can't remember how you say it. You know, when you start to, that's the that's problem of diminishing calcium. Um, and if you put, uh, this helps with your skin. That's why I got, if you rub it on your skin, it helps prevent and heals rashes and blisters and, and helps clear up acne. Um, anything to do with arthritis like uh, gout or anything like that, if you put that, um, rub the area with it. It helps in treating sexual disorders, like if you have a lack of desire, if you're impotent, if you've got um, any sexual problems, um, obsessions, um, this will help along, it'll help in, in childbirth as well. Because it's uh, uh, through the mind and, and throat, it, 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 it calms the mind, it alleviates worry and fear, um, regulates any aggressive energy, you know, helps you look for a more peaceful balance and, and solution to an issue. Um, very good for women as far as self-esteem. Um, if you if you are have a tendency to to work for others all the time and not take care of yourself, you know it's about self uh, love. Um, helps you communicate more effectively so that your words are are understood. It, you, that's why I had I kept getting the you gotta you gotta clear this up, right? You gotta clear this up. You gotta make this understood. Um, so it helps you use your vocabulary <clears throat> in, a, in a proper way. But what's really, really powerful right now with all this chaos that's going on and the fact that she's in the Amazonite waters and she's wearing Amazonite, it's about setting appropriate boundaries. 
And it's about your own self-discipline, your inner self-discipline, and about establishing healthy relationships with others. You have the right to take yourself out or remove anyone from your presence if it isn't in your highest good. That's self-love, and that's boundaries. And people don't know your boundaries if you don't set them. And they don't respect them if you don't set them. So when you make a choice, stand by it. It's the heart, and, and it stimulates your heart and your throat. So as far as um, gives you um, the ability to balance yourselves in whatever environment you find yourself in. If you're in a controlling relationship, if someone is trying to control you, um, or if you're, you find yourself being kind of wanting to be controlling or critical of others, um, if you feel like you're reacting really strongly, violently, um, it helps resolve that and, and kind of heal that, resolve any of the blockages, because that's a problem with your heart, right? Um, and that was, no, I won't even go there. Um, it just, it just, it, it deals with the ups and downs of, of relationships. This is your emotional waters, right? It helps you go through those and accept the changes that are happening. Deal with the, with the, with the flow of, of energy and deal with what's happening with the change. You're not going to fight change, right? You got to go, you got to go with it. So this is the one that will affect, if, if, if one of your chakras is out of balance, it'll lock, knock everything else out of balance. So the throat is, is how you speak for your entire self. So if your throat chakra is knocked off, Everything is going to be knocked off because your throat, this is how you communicate, right? Your ideas, your beliefs, your emotions, your personal truth, everything. Your throat chakra must be balanced. So how do you balance your throat chakra? Sing. Sing. Ah. You know, whatever you have to do, stimulate your throat chakra. And the, the blue of the crystal is what will unblock and balance your throat chakra. <clears throat> the darker blue, the darker shades encourage truth. And the lighter shades include, uh, they, they carry the flexibility, the relaxation, the, the balance. So what I've got, I've got, um, I've got the lighter shades here and I've got the bluer shades here. I've got them both. So I say get them both. Sandy, she's got the lighter shades, right? Um, I'm, I'm talking to you, Sandy, about what I told you to wear. She's got a beautiful set. She's got incredible jewelry, crystals. They're just insane. I, I told her I'd like to play in her, in, her, in her crystal box. I just like sit there and play with all of her crystals. So... The, the lighter ones um, are about flexibility, relaxation, and balance. So that's working perfect for you. It's exactly what you needed. Okay, with that, we're out. <laughs> i got to let you guys go. But isn't it cool that, that Liger has eyes the color of Amazon? Amazonite? Ew! <laughs> Love you guys.